Hello, this is Jane Goodall. Two years ago, the European Commission committed to ending the use of cages in animal farming throughout the European Union. This was in response to the end of the Cage Age European Citizens Initiative, which Compassion in World Farming coordinated and which was signed by 1.4 million EU citizens. Every year, 300 million sentient animals are caged, confined in industrial farms across the EU. These factory farming systems are outdated. They cause immense suffering to millions of animals, all of whom are able to feel frustration, fear and pain. Caged hens can't spread their wings properly. They can't scratch around in the ground or make a nest. Confined pigs can't root in the soil, grunting in pleasure. Pregnant sows are unable to make nests for their piglets. And being highly intelligent animals, pigs are just bored. I was so pleased when I heard that the Commission was drafting new laws to end this outdated and inhumane way of raising animals. Along with hundreds of thousands of other European citizens, I was delighted to think of farmed animals living better and healthier lives, being treated with the respect due to sentient beings. Then the EU would not need to be ashamed of its farms. Unfortunately, it seems that the powerful agribusiness lobby has been opposing these desperately needed reforms. Because agribusiness, for them, the well-being of animals is not important. I was really upset when the European Commission President, Ursula von der Leyen, didn't commit to the reforms in her State of the Union speech. It seems that she has listened to big business rather than to, to the millions of EU citizens who support the promised ban on cages. I have written to her, asking for an urgent meeting to discuss the important issue. I repeat that invitation now. Ms. von der Leyen, will you meet with me to discuss this vital matter, please? Thank you.